Event Streams is a messaging platform based on the Apache Kafka open source project that helps you build smart applications that react to events in real time. This demo shows you how to download and use a sample that can produce and consume messages. In this getting started tutorial, we'll create an event stream service in the IBM Cloud. We'll demonstrate how a simple app will send and receive messages. We'll create a topic, create the credentials, clone a sample repo, run a consumer and a producer, and finally delete the topic. Today, we'll be using the light plan. The event streams light plan allows you to try our managed Apache Kafka offering free of charge. Let's go ahead and create a service. Log into the IBM Cloud using your credentials. You can always create a free account if you don't already have one. We arrive at the dashboard, click top right to create a new resource, and then we filter the catalog on event streams. Click event streams. Choose a name for your instance and then a region to deploy in. Finally, choose the light plan, since that's our entry-level shared service, which is free to use. Press Create. Currently, the light plan can only be deployed in Dallas. Now we have a service. And now we're ready to create the simple app. Step one, create a topic. You need a topic to exist before any messages can be sent, as messages are sent to an existing topic. Click Topics and then Create Topic. At this point, we choose the name of the topic, which has already been predefined by the code. Click Next. The light plan only allows one partition per topic, which is the default. We simply choose a retention period and then click Create Topic. So make sure you use this topic name, otherwise the builds will fail. Step two, create credentials. When using the Kafka API in the consumer and producer applications, you need an authenticated connection to the event stream server. These credentials will be used to authenticate applications to the service. Navigate to the service credential tab on the left hand side. From here, you can create new credentials for your service. Click New Credentials. Give the credential the manager role so that it can create and access topics. Press Add. You can then simply view your new credentials using the View Credentials button. Step 3. Clone the sample repo. There are many samples available, but today we're using the Java sample. Navigate to the event stream sample pages in GitHub. Before we start, make sure you have the prerequisites. You're going to need Git, Cradle, Java, all installed on your device. Read through the documentation and clone the repo. Do a clean build and build the project. Step four, run the consumer. We now switch to two terminals to run both the producer and the consumer alongside each other. Cut and paste one or more brokers. Normally, we'd use all the brokers for a given cluster for resilience. But for simplicity, we're just going to specify a single broker for both the consumer and the producer. We also need the API key from the credentials. We'll copy the credentials for use by the producer later on. Step 5. Run the producer. Now on the command line, we start the producer and in the other window, the consumer. You can now see both producer and consumer exchanging messages.
it's clear that the message with offset 5 is sent by the producer and then immediately received by the consumer. And finally, delete the topic. We go back to the user interface and delete the topic. So let's review what we did today. We've created an event stream service, a light plan in the IBM cloud. We've demonstrated a simple app and got it to receive and send messages. And we did that by creating a topic, creating credentials, cloning the sample repo. We showed a consumer, we showed the producer, and finally we deleted the topic. Thanks for watching the Getting Started tutorial for event streams.